What's up guys? So today I'm gonna be showing you this look. This is kind of like a white tip, um, baby boomer, uh, white beige, whatever type of look. It has a lot going on. So yeah, let me go ahead and show you guys how I did this look. So I'm taking my Mia Maya Secret beige and white and the clear. I'm gonna start off with the white and put this on my nail. As I was watching this back, I realized what I need to do to f like form the bead better on my uh, nail. I honestly need to just give it some time to sit for a second. Um, the monomer and the acrylic is just kind of like setting up a little bit too slow and I'm immediately going in and like trying to build it on my nail. So I need to kind of give it some more time. Around here is where I need to start patting it in and sliding it down. At this point, it's ready for all of that manipulation. So um, I'm gonna try to do that on my next set of nails I do. This white is okay. I realized and I noticed that this white isn't an extreme white color, if you know what I mean. It's kind of like a off-white a little bit. Um, I'm gonna try to find a good white because for this type of look, you really want to have like a more of a strong white to put on your white tip nails. So for my cuticle bead, I think I did an okay, okay job. It was definitely better than what I was, what I had going on in my last video. I will link that down below, by the way. Um, so yeah, you just want to kind of take your time, make sure this bead is a little bit more uh, wetter so that it kind of runs down your finger. Now moving on to my middle finger, I'm taking the Cover Beige uh, acrylic color and I'm putting that on my finger, obviously, um, my nail. And I'm going to just pat this in. Again, you'll see what I mean, how I start moving the product on my nail a little bit too fast than what I'm, how I'm supposed to do it. I need to, since this is a slower acrylic, I'm in monomer that I'm, well, monomer. Since this is a slower setting monomer that I'm using, I really need to give it some time to uh, kind of do what it needs to do before I pat and pull it down my nail. So for my nails, I take how many ever, how many ever need, how many ever, whatever, how many ever beads I need to build up my nail. Especially with longer nails, you just need to make sure you have all that build up there. Um, so here I'm taking clear acrylic. This is just to cap everything. Um, I like to build up the nail with the clear ac acrylic uh, and not the white one because it kind of saves product that way. Um, so I'm going to build the strength up with this clear and it also protects like that white color while I'm filing. Now for the cuticle bead, I think I, um, I think it's fine to use a more of a slower setting um, monomer because with this, it I, I like it being runny because my cuticle, for me, it's easier when it's runnier because I can just kind of move my finger downward. I don't even know how to explain that. You guys see what I mean though. My finger is kind of like pointed down so that the acrylic runs down my nail. Here's 
here I'm just placing some ac clear acrylic on the snail to kind of build it up a bit. And here I'm taking my nail pincher. Um, with this, it's a little too late to pinch your nails, but I went ahead and did it anyway because, I don't know, I just need to get used to doing it and remember, so I just went ahead and did it. Really didn't do much, but once you are able to pinch your nails at the right time, it will honestly just make your nails look so much thinner and prettier. On this nail, I am going to go ahead and build up my nail bed. I'm doing like a pointed triangle type of shape. So right now I'm trying to like mold the shape with my brush and after I do that I'm going to go ahead and in and file it and try to make it super crisp. So after I filed that, I am going on with my pinky. I'm going to put the white um, towards the bottom. And this is gonna be my baby, baby boomer nail. And once that, um, you actually don't wanna apply the, the pink just yet. You wanna kinda wait until the white dries so it kinda goes on better. So I'm moving on to back to this finger and I'm gonna just apply the white for the tip. So you want to make sure that you get it on all sides and push it right up to that pink part because it's going to make a really nice effect. You don't want any you don't want to see any gaps or anything because it's not going to it's just not going to look right. Um, also, I'm putting it a little bit on the pink uh, area like on top because when I file it, it's going to it's just going to make it look sharper. Um, I did forget to file like I didn't forget, but I missed some white that was on the nail bed when I filed it and it kind of looks bad but uh yeah I'll look for that next time but don't worry if you're doing this make sure you file all the way so that the white or whatever color you're using is gone so for my pinky I'm just kind of like smoothing the pink part over the white and then after I'm just going to take my cuticle bead and blend that in So these are the nails before I file and these are the nails filed and I also applied some jewels. I'm going to show you guys how I kind of apply them. I love using this Maya Secret um, nail whatever it said, <laughs> I can't remember right now. Uh, <laughs> but it looks like this and it's uh, basically just a, I think it's a gel, uh, I think it's a crystal gel. So I love this stuff because it allows me to put the crystal down and move it around. I found that with glue, once I put the crystal down, it 
it stayed down. I could not move it. And if I did, it, it would get glue everywhere and it would just become really foggy. And no, I did not like that at all. So with this, I'm able to kind of move the crystals around. And after you put them down on your nail, you just kind of cure them with your light, with your lamp. And this is how it turned out at the end with all the crystals on. I'm just gonna apply um, the top coat from My Secret again. This is the glass glass top coat. God, I don't know. I don't look at the, the names before I do this. So yeah, it's from Maya Secret though. Mia Secret, Maya. You just want to kind of like scoot the brush up next to the rhinestones. Don't put them over the rhinestones. Don't put it over the rhinestones. And then you also want to just kind of like wipe the sides so that it doesn't change the nail color much or the nail shape. I'm just gonna apply some cuticle oil and rub that in. And yeah, I hope you guys like this video and this look. Um, just subscribe to me if you want more. Let me know what looks you wanna see down below in the comments and I'll see you guys in a later video. Bye.